Dear Journal, It was Saturday night and I met with my buddy Al in his dorm room. We had no dates or anything, so we had to find a way to amuse each other that night. Uh, I bought Twister. We could play Twister. Dude, we're not gay. Two straight guys can't play Twister. We aren't gay? No. Oh. At least I'm pretty sure. Well then, do you just want to make out? Yeah, alright. No, wait, we're not gay. Oh yeah. Um, let's just watch TV. Hey, Sex in the City's on. Wait, we can't watch that, remember? Right, 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 not gay. We then drew up a list of possible activities. <clears throat> so mutual masturbation's out. Right. Taking nude photos of each other. Yeah, that's out too. Then there was burning sage around the house to entice the good spirits and expel the bad. That was also gay, but, you know, the other kind. I guess that just leaves knitting socks for your uh, three-month-old niece. Uh, that seems more like a still single woman in her mid-thirties who's jealous of her sister's family kind of activity. I think that would still be acceptable. But as soon as we get the urge to buy more than one cat, we should stop. You know, Journal, there's really not much two straight guys can do on their own on a Saturday night. There are wild men, there must be wild women. So where did Robinson Crusoe go with Friday and Saturday night? Eh, <laughs> these tiny little socks could fit on a cat. Alright man, I think we should stop now.